We're going to break something down that I saw in several questions yesterday and several people kind of not understanding the whole perspective thing. So I'm going to break it down in three separate videos today, uh, tomorrow, and Friday, and then I'll be taking the rest of the week off, I mean year off, which is about a week, to uh, celebrate the holidays and celebrate Christmas. But let's start with this now. This is the Garmin perspective mode. You have your top here, which is the surface of the water, and you have the bottom. Now, I went ahead and drew out the entire beam. Now, I understand this is not to scale. I'm not an artist, but it will give you a better understanding of how proper uh, live scope or perspective mode angling can help you uh, to get your desired effect, whether you want to see the bait, whether you want to see the bottom, and so forth. Now, this would be you know, close to what Garmin has standard in their mount. Um, and you'll notice it's angled down. Now it's a 20 degree beam from top to bottom is 135 degrees wide. What you see on the screen is the 135 degrees. This is 20 degrees from top to bottom. Now, a lot of people say, I can't see my bait or I just catch it a second. Now, realize that your bait is a very, very tiny return that is moving through the water. So a lot of times you'll cast your bait out, and let's say you cast it out here, it falls down, and you're really gonna spin a bait back. All right, we've got some stumps here, and you're gonna fall, let it fall down, and you're gonna reel it right over the top of the stump. So here we come. All right, so the bait goes down. You will not see it splash the water because your beam is pointing downward. As it falls down in the water column and you start to reel, this is the only area on the screen in which you will see. Now this, um, you know, let's just say this is 25 feet out right here, and this is 35 feet out. I don't know for scale, I'm not gonna do that much math and just to show you the example. So there's only a 10 foot area which will see your bait. Then this whole area, all the way back to the boat right here, does not even show up on the perspective mode. A lot of people ask, why do I have this big black area on my perspective mode? It's because you don't have the proper angle. Now remember, perspective mode is a shallow water tool. It can be used in deep water, um, but there are better, better applications uh, and better things to handle the deep water. But in shallow water, if you have it angled down like this, you're only gonna see the bottom in this area. Now notice the beam is slanted. So if you're higher up in the water column with the spinner bait, you won't see it till like maybe the 15 foot mark and it'll disappear at the five foot mark. So understanding where the beam is will let you see that. But that's why I always say proper angle is the most important thing. This is not a proper angle if you're wanting to see your bait in shallow water. Um, you're just not going to get uh, the visibility of your bait uh, if you're throwing a glide bait, a swim bait, or something like that. You're not going to see it spinner bait anything because there's such a small area. And if you're not looking in the right, perfect uh, area of your perspective mode, you'll miss it. So, understanding that, we know now that the zone to see the bait in is very small. There could literally be a stump. 10 feet in front of your boat, there we are, that will never show up in this area right there because the beam never hits it. And that's why, like I said, this is a shallow water tool. So as we get too deep of water, you gotta start understanding you may be getting out of the realm of, of usefulness of the perspective mode. So what we're gonna do, today we covered the Garmin mode. Now we're gonna, tomorrow we're gonna cover what I would consider the optimal angle for most everything that you use perspective mode in, remembering it's a shallow water tool, etc. So tomorrow we're going to cover the angle that I like to use and then we'll actually cover the last day, we'll cover an angle that's too far down, but it may be perfect for showing you some deep water structure and stuff like that. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I hope this helped out. This is part one. Put it right here. Part I don't even know if I spelled it right. Part one, and we'll call this Garmin.
That's Garmin Bay. Part one of Garmin. Tomorrow will be part two, GG. And then part three will be a little something I've been working on lately in deeper, deeper water, that 25 to 30 foot of water to get that angle right. That way it shows up and you can use it and uh, use, your, use your live scope in a whole lot more situations than you've ever thought of using it before. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell.